Converting a direct free kick is an art that only few master. This season they've been a collector's item and we want to change that. Hence this guide on how to hit the perfect free kick. Oh, and it's perfect! That is magnificent! For free kicks from this position or similar, there are certain rules. For example, the keeper positions the second furthest man in the wall in line with the ball and post. The taker now has three options. Number one, goalkeeper's side. Here, the keeper can see everything. Two, curl the ball around the wall. But the outside man in the wall should stop that. Or, of course, there is option number three. It's Stindl. Oh, it's a rocket! Lars Stindl! Hit at high speed over the wall. And the one-second rule is key to success here. No matter where from, the ball should hit the goal line within one second. Here, we're reducing the distance, right on the edge of the penalty area this time. The wall is well positioned, with the player lying down to prevent the low shot. The goal is divided into the goalkeeper's side and the wall side. Union's Robert Andrich has a goal probability of 9% here, and he also opts for option three. Delicacy and accuracy from Robert Andrich. To stick to our one second rule here, it's less about speed and more about finesse. As it happens, not a single direct free kick has landed on the goalkeeper's side in the 2021 season. The route over the wall therefore appears to be the key to goal scoring success. It's no secret, the more well placed, the better. It's about giving the goalkeeper the longest possible distance to go. If the ball arrives in the top corner within a second, the keeper has little chance. Oh, it's delicious! Marcoudes equalises for Schalke in spectacular fashion. But how do you do that? How do you give the ball that special trajectory so that even from 26 metres out and with a goal probability of just 4%, it's still so powerful and precise? It'll be Angelino to have a go! Oh, yes! Leipzig's Angelino shows how. It's important that from whichever position you strike the ball, you should use the inside of the boot. The foot should come into contact with the ball just under the middle of it. That way the ball can rise sharply and drop quickly. A physics teacher would talk about the Magnus effect here. In simple terms, the taker, in this case Maximilian Arnold, must put top spin on the ball. Forward rotation makes it possible to get the ball firmly over the wall and then quickly down. This kind of free kick is a nightmare for a goalkeeper. One player in the Bundesliga has perfected this technique. Kramerich, it's splendid, it's 3-0 and it's the win for Hoffenheim. Andre Kramerich, he can do it from shorter distances too, like here against Hertha Berlin. As well as the top spin, he gives the ball some side spin through his very side on run-up. Perfectly placed and past the keeper within a second, it doesn't get better. Or maybe it does, how about this example against Schalke? Andre Kramerich! Fabulous strike! Kramrich knows the distance to goal is further. That requires more power and less finesse. The Croatian, therefore, takes a longer run-up from a different angle. It's impressive how much power and precision he gets in one shot. Again, it's the inside of the boot. And when you place the ball so perfectly, you can get away with not quite sticking to the one-second rule. In summary, over the wall, top spin, and the one-second rule, that is the perfect free kick. Which free kick did you like most? Let us know in the comments.